So this is uh, part one of HTML5 two-column CSS layout. We've already set up our files and now we are ready to add our content. So if we look at our page, it looks like this. We need to add our logo, navigation, and our text. Um, so if we go to the uh, page that's referred to in the uh, description of this video, you'll see that the next step is to add um, logo, navigation, content, um, and the right column. So let's start out by adding our logo. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. This is the page that we've set up our code. And we're going to go ahead here and we're going to add a div to house our logo. So we're going to say div ID equals logo and we're going to give a closing div. Um, now we have our image, it's already in our images folder so we can go up and um, insert that image. So here we go in our images folder, it's called everything about web PNG. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Oops. Fantastic. All right, so we've got our logo. It's in, um, it is in our HTML. We'll come back and uh, if we have to do any kind of styling, we can do that later. Next, we're going to add our navigation. And we know best practices are to add navigation as a unordered list. So we're going to start out with our unordered list tags. And then we're going to add our list items to build our nav. So um, I've got basically four um, sections to my nav. So I'm going to go in here and um, start adding my sections. So I've got one that's called home, about, tutorials, and contact. Oops. Okay, let me just delete some of this extra space. Okay, so now I need to add um, links to my navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me just open up my properties palette here. Okay. And all I have to do is um, select my text and just simply put in the link. This is about.html. So it will be tutorials. And finally, this last one um, will link to a page called Contact. Okay. Fantastic. All right, so what else do we need to add? We need to add some content. So for this, I'm actually going to go back to our page. Um, and basically because of time, I'm not going to um, hand code this in. Um, and you probably wouldn't either, <laughs> but you would have a document that would have this content in it. And the thing to note here is that we are using our H1 tag for the heading, and we have a section and two articles. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, add this to the um, content div. So here's our content div. Make some space here and just paste that in there. Okay, so um, just you know, look at this code and be familiar with um, the fact that it does have heading tags, so it's, it is um, properly marked up. And then finally, um, we have some um, information for our sidebar. So if we again go back to our page here, notice that we've got um, an aside in that right column. So again, I would I'm not going to do this by hand for the sake of time. Okay, and then finally you would add your footer, which is basically just the name of the company and a copyright, and then you're done.